I'm at a customer's house right now. I just finished installing a Tesla charger. It's charging the car right now. Most cases, I end up putting these chargers on 60 amp breakers. Um, they just, you know, that's pretty much the full capacity. I think you can put a 70 amp on there, but most of them I just do a 60 amp and that works good. They are rated for you to be able to use a 30 amp breaker, a 20 amp, or you know, more or less whatever size breaker you want. If they are installed on a 30 amp breaker, they are only supposed to draw 24 amps. In this case, I've got my meter up here. It says it's only drawing 23.8 amps on this 30 amp breaker that it's on. Um, what's alarming about this situation is how hot this breaker is to touch. I mean, it's okay. I don't really usually like to do this barehanded, but this breaker is way, way too hot. And I just changed the 60 amp subfeed breaker that was overheating. It's a GE 60 amp breaker. And um, it's this one right here. It's one of the bigger breakers and it was overheating severely and it would trip after 30 minutes and it was only drawing with everything in the sub panel was only drawing 25 amps approximately. And it's rated up to 60, so it would trip. And I feel like this particular GE breaker, even though it's rated for 30 amps and is only pulling 23 amps right now, is just heating up way too hot. And I'm kind of upset because GE is a company that's been around for a very long time and their breakers are overheating and malfunctioning anytime they have anything to do with an EV charger. And these EV chargers are well within the spec what the breaker's rated for. And the thing is just way, way too hot to the touch. Test it again right here. That's just way, way too hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a brand new 30 amp breaker in here. I'm hoping that the results are the same. The old 60 amp breaker was getting way too hot at 25 amps. You know, the new one after 30 minutes isn't heating up at all. But my question for General Electric is why are you building such cheap breakers? This is ridiculous. I mean thousands of people, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people in America are upgrading to EVs. And if your breakers, you know, can't stand, you know, what they're rated for, then why are you even manufacturing breakers? This is ridiculous. You need to stop what you're doing and basically start building your breakers better. Um, I don't know how long you haven't been a formidable com uh, company for anymore, but this is just ridiculous, you know. Um, a person should be able to charge their electric vehicle without having to worry about a brand new breaker that you've manufactured malfunctioning.